NASA's first planetary defense operation has struck a space rock that's orbiting an asteroid millions of kilometers from Earth. The goal was to nudge the little moon into a new orbit. Scientists were testing whether it's possible to deflect an asteroid on collision course with our planet. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. A direct hit millions of kilometers from Earth. The world's first ever planetary defense mission. A success that is far from a coincidence. Oh, fantastic. We are so excited to be yeah. done. <laughs> uh, you know, we've worked on this mission for at least seven years now, and uh, it's been a work of over a thousand people. Um, definitely, as we were getting close to the asteroid, there was a lot of, Ed said, joy. I say both terror and joy at the same time, because we, we saw that we were going to impact. The idea behind DART, the double asteroid redirection test, was to launch a small spacecraft towards a space rock smash into it at high speed and alter its course. This inaugural planetary defense test mission marks a major moment in human history. For the first time ever, we will measurably change the orbit of a celestial body in the universe. Doing so has clear benefits in ensuring humanity's ability to deflect a potential threatening asteroid in the future. NASA proved it could hit a small object in space. A follow-up mission will check up on the target rock in four years to see how much its orbit has changed. But first, it is time for celebrations. Now let's go straight to Dr. Thomas Sabuchen, uh, head of science at NASA in uh, Washington, D.C. First of all, congratulations. Your spacecraft has struck its target, but did it actually manage to throw the rock off course? <laughs> well, thanks so much. Uh, we're extremely proud of the team that got us there. And uh, and I want to tell you what we've I've been looking at all day here is data from spacecraft, both uh, Alicia Cube, a small spacecraft that we actually released from DART before the impact and, and went and flew by uh, three minutes later, but also from ground-based observatories. So we know the impact was big and violent. It was observable from the ground. And it's the matter of physics that it will have, uh, you know, moved the rock, but we need to measure it. And that will take a few weeks to really measure the orbit. It's a 12-hour orbit uh, that the, uh, the, you know, the, the small moon uh, of this asteroid has that we hit. And that will uh, ho hopefully uh, have moved by two to three minutes or uh, guessing from what we're observing, perhaps even more. Now, you call this a test of the planetary defense system. What does that entail? Well, so the fact that we get hit by rocks from space over the history of uh, the Earth is, is well, you know, understood. Now, look at the moon. It's scarred with impacts. The Earth also is scarred with impacts. And, of course, it has a, had major major uh, kind of uh, consequences for life on Earth. Uh, dinosaurs are no longer with us, for example, as a result of one of those impacts. And so what we're really trying to do is in the arsenal of kind of uh, overall tools that we have to protect lives on Earth, we want to add a tool that could help us in, in case a threatening asteroid like that would show up. I want to tell you, at this moment in time, we don't have one that we're aware of that could uh, hit uh, within the next 100 years. So we're really trying to get a tool that we could use in case we found one. Mm. Now, what about the cost of this mission and all that work involved? you think it's justified? Oh, absolutely it's justified. I think when it comes to protecting life on Earth, uh, it kind of the cost that we're putting into these space assets is very much uh, justified. I want to tell you right now we have a, a hurricane in uh, South uh, Florida that is uh, over Cuba and getting in there. Most of the forecasts come from space assets that uh, that we did, uh, you know, right now uh, have made in the past kind of spacecraft that I've helped launch. Uh, have, we've have built uh, here at NASA and and uh, and in the same way, uh, planetary uh, defense uh, is really kind of in a more longer term uh, scale, really helping protecting lives on Earth. So uh, it's absolutely justified.
Now, the DART mission is just the latest of several NASA projects dealing with asteroids. Why are you focusing on these celestial bodies? Asteroids are really interesting for us because they're kind of messengers from the time past, or if you want, uh, kind of really about a chapter in our own history, the history of the solar system. Uh, asteroids form early on, kind of as planets form, uh, and uh, and kind of, uh, kind of looking at these primordial uh, materials, these asteroids, and bringing the samples back, which is what we're doing with uh, OSIRIS-REx. Next year, we're going to drop it into a Utah test range, the sample that we picked up in 2020, uh, but also exploring families of asteroids we've never seen, such as what Lucy is doing, is really learning about our own uh, past, learning about uh, the history of the solar system. And then uh, these asteroids sometimes are threats, which is why we did that DART. It's all very exciting. Dr. Thomas Zabrukin there, head of science at NASA in Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us here on DW News. Thank you so much.